Hello and welcome to another video walk around with myself, Alisa, here at Toyota Northwest Edmonton. And today we'll be taking a look at this 2011 Toyota RAV4. So this is a four door, five passenger, four wheel drive SUV in this awesome beachy beige color. Under the hood, you'll find a 2.5 liter inline four cylinder engine, and you'll be riding on top of 17 inch alloy wheels. Now, some of your features include your heated outdoor mirrors for those cold winter days. You also have your rear window defroster and you have cruise control for all of those great road trips, but there's lots happening on the inside. So why don't we hop on in and take a look around. Helping you into your RAV are these handy dandy fobs. Now you do have your aftermarket remote vehicle start. That's gonna be handy for those winter months. And then on your original fob, you have your lock, your unlock and your panic button. Pushing the unlock button once unlocks the front doors and pushing it twice unlocks all four. And you can see there that you do have your side view mirror signal indicators. That's gonna be great for heavy traffic or if you're traveling on the highway, it makes it a lot safer. People can see what your intentions are uh, in terms of changing lanes. Now opening this up right away, you can see nice and clean. Our detail department does a great job when these vehicles come in. You also have this great two-tone interior. You do have a little bit of storage here in your driver's side door. You also have your power windows, locks and mirrors. I'll show you where your mirrors are in just a few seconds here. So once again, really nice and clean. You have these great seats, really comfortable seats to sit in. So I'm just going to hop on in. We'll start it up for you. We'll take a look at some of the other technology. Take a look at the odometer. There we go. So taking a look at the odometer, there's only 15,852 kilometers. So lots and lots of life left on your RAV. Uh, very well driven, really nice shape. You also have your display menu here on your steering wheel. That's gonna give you uh, some information, your average fuel economy, the temperature gauge, things like that. So lots of information right at the touch of a button there. So taking a look at the uh, sound system now, you do have your AM, FM radio. You have a whole bunch of presets. You have uh, two different channels to preset, plus um, all of the, plus these are two different ones. So you have uh, like 20 some, presets that you can do there. You also have your CD player and your auxiliary input. So you do have your old school CD player there uh, if you wanna use that. Moving a little bit further down, you do have your air conditioning with your temperature control. That's gonna be nice in those summer months. And then moving a bit further down from there, you have a little bit of storage here with your cup holders. You have your traction control, and then you have your windshield wiper defrost button. You also have a 12 volt DC plug-in in case there's any other devices that you'd like to charge. And then moving a little bit further back from there, uh, here is where your power mirrors are and your auxiliary input. You have a little bit of storage right in there as well. And then lifting this up, you have um, some storage here in the middle for you as well. So it's a double decker, so you can keep some smaller items at the top and some larger items right in there for you. Doubles as an armrest, really nice and comfy. Uh, taking a look a little bit further in, you do have a lockable glove compartment. That's gonna be nice in case you uh, wanna leave any of your uh, valuables, which I don't normally suggest, but uh, you do have a lockable glove compartment, so um, you are a little bit more capable of doing that. Plus, you have all of the manuals that you're going to need there, and you have a great little second section up there as well to keep some smaller items in, and it closes just with the push of a button. Lots of really great stuff happening in the front of your RAV. Why don't we head on back and take a look at cargo? Taking a look at the back of your RAV now, lots going on back here. You do have a rear windshield wiper for that unpredictable Alberta weather. You also have that full size spare tire there in the back. Now I'm just gonna open this up here and we'll take a look at the cargo space. Lots of stuff going on back here as well. So you have tons and tons of cargo space, lots of room. You do have a cargo cover. Uh, so that's gonna be really handy for those big shopping trips, give you a little bit of privacy. Right under here is a little bit more storage as well. So there's a nice big um, like under storage part here. And you can also flip this around if you're seeing this vinyl, uh, this vinyl top here. You can actually flip that around if you have something a little bit dirtier to that you need to put into your vehicle. And then there's a little bit more storage right under there as well. So lots of really great stuff happening. I'm just gonna set these seats down so you can see just how much cargo space you have with those seats folded flat. I'm gonna start by taking that cargo cover out because another handy thing that we have 
in the cargo space down here is the storage for your cargo cover so that's going to be nice you can carry it with you you don't have to store it in your garage or in your apartment or anything like that and just to set the seats down really nice and simple you have this lever here you can pull that down and it goes down nice and flat you have one on the right hand side as well and that will go down nice and flat for you so tons and tons of space and uh, lots of really great features in the back there and once you're finished loading up all of your gear and you close this back up that opens at a 90 degree angle as you can see so really easy to put in some larger items and here's a nice view of the back of your RAV4 giving you a final look then of your 2011 Toyota RAV4 four-wheel drive. You can see that you also have your roof rails with your crossbars in case you need a bit of extra storage space, but there's a lot happening that I didn't get a chance to go through on this, on this brief walk around. So come on in, take it for a test drive, see how you like it, ask all of the questions. Uh, once again, really low kilometers, great for a first time buyer. Uh, we're very easy to find. We're on the corner of 137th Avenue and St. Albert Trail. We're here at Toyota Northwest Edmonton. My name is Elisa. Thanks again for watching and until we see you, drive safe.